The purpose of this record <laughs> is to show you how to use your imagination yeah. to achieve your every desire. Yo, welcome to Death Perception. Most men are totally unaware of the creative power of imagination. <laughs> Come on, Marcus. What the hell's wrong with you? It's only been 20 seconds. Can't do anymore. Hey, look at me. Why can't you do one more? Too tired. What, you have some health problems? No. Don't, I have, well, last time I heard you don't have any. Come on, do one more. Come on, Marcus. Yo, who can't even do one push-up? Like, I know, I know your arm is hurting. I know you feel the earthquake coming. Stop. Yo, I'm not, I'm not even talking to you. I don't care. I love well, my mom Hey, watch it. Watch it. Both of you. Come on, Marcus. Get off. Just give me one, okay? Stop! Leave him alone! I'm not talking to you. What? I said this doesn't look safe. Yo, Marcus, if you don't get your ass up that rope, I'm gonna fail you. And if you fail this class, especially gym, to prepare yourself to be a freshman all over again. You got that? Get up. Try to stop me. So you come any closer, I'm gonna jump. Whoa, well, well, I'm, I'm not a cop or anything. You're not, huh? What are you doing up here? I'm here for the same reason you are. <laughs> Look at the odds. All the bridges in this town, you have to jump off of my bridge. Why are you here? I mean, I know why you're here. I guess what I'm trying Look, to find kid, out is... Look, get a long-winded conversation. It ain't gonna make this any better. You trust me on that? Look. It comes to something like this, you don't want to think about it. You just want to get it done. I'm not even gonna like this, kid. You know why? Because then I'm just going to be thinking about how it's, it's going to be the last cigar I'm ever going to enjoy. All right. The hell with it. Go ahead, kid. Jump. Me? You going to jump. You first. Fine. You know what? I will. See you on the other side. Whoa, wait, 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 hey, wait. Get wait. the hell away from me! What's the matter with you? I told you the conversation's over. I don't even know your name. Are you nuts? Yes. And so are you. Look, you goddamn punk, I may be a lot of things, but nuts ain't one of them. Fine. You're not nuts. 
Can you at least tell me what your name is now? It's Roger. I'm Marcus. I don't care. Why are you here? Again with this shit. You want to hear my story? All right. I'll tell you. Guys like me don't deserve to live. It's really just that simple. It's really not that much. Just give of a story. me a fucking minute, will you? Sorry. I had a family. Until I messed that up. Had a pretty good job, too. Damn hands. I got this condition. Motor skills. A little screwy. I was a carpenter. I loved it. I just can't do it anymore. Sorry. So whatever. I had a wife who loved me and a son who despised me, but he had every right to. So why does your son despise you? He doesn't despise me anymore. You just told me he did. Clean out your ears, kid. I'll go back to school. I said he despised me. Past tense, you get it? Past tense, because he's dead. He's been dead for almost 15 years now. So how'd he die? Died overdosing on my drugs. I was a junkie. One night he got into my stash and he OD'd. A few months later, my wife committed suicide. And that's how I make a long story short. But I don't get it. You used to be a junkie. Now you're clean. This is a good thing, right? Not really, kid. All my son ever wanted was for his old man to get clean and to stop beating on his mother. But I was too weak. The drugs helped me cope with life. And then, I cleaned up my act when the two most important things to me were gone. Now all I can do is, is think about all the mistakes I made with a clear head. I stay clean to punish myself. But I'm done. Well, that's that, kid. Time's up. No. No. Don't you even want to hear my story first? Not really. Please. Just give me a moment, please. What the hell's the matter with you, kid? Why can't you just leave me be? My, my wife used to whine like that. I used to hate it. One time I almost beat her to death. I'm sorry, kid, I didn't... I didn't mean to rush you. I'm listening now. Go... Go ahead, just... Just, just don't take all morning. Look. I'm a teacher. I think I'm a pretty good one, but my students don't seem to think so. They're always disruptive and so disrespectful. Sure, I may even lose my job due to all these teacher evaluations. You know about those, right? Yeah, I watch the news. <laughs> Oh, 
these hoes wishy-washy. Yeah. Take all of your guala. Hey. You know these hoes wishy-washy. You guys, I tell you. Just... All right, so you guys, I tell you. Alright, so let's talk about the structure of this play. Oh my god, bro. This teacher is annoying, bro. We got the beginning. We got the middle. <laughs> Who did that? Because you wasn't. You're laughing. Terrence, get up. Nah, I don't know what Terrence, you're talking about. Terrence, get up. It's looking slow. Leave him alone. He's not getting up. I actually wasn't even talking to you. Either. I don't care. You're you're interrupting the whole class, and we're trying to have a conversation. To be honest. And no one's listening. To you. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh my god, Marcus, you scared me. What are you doing here so early? There was a fire at the school. They let us out early. What the hell is going on here? There's nothing. I... Listen, bro. Um, remember you told me about the tub and um, how it wasn't draining right? Yeah, so I come over and I try to fix it, right? <laughs> but the craziest thing happened. <laughs> Man, really? I forgot to turn the water off. <laughs> It's kind of funny when you think about it, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, so I go over and I try to take the faucet off, right? <laughs> but another crazy thing happened. <laughs> Man, water squirted all over us. <laughs> and it got all over our clothes. So um, we had to, um, we, we had to put these towels on. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> it was one thing when it was my friend. But my brother, Lynn, we have a kid together. Marcus, you're jumping to conclusions. You're unbelievable. You just can't control yourself, can you? Marcus, I just told you what happened. Just stop it, Mickey. Of all people, I would have never thought you'd try to hurt me like this. I'm sorry, bro. I'll just... Do you want to continue lying? Whatever. Marcus, I just don't... What? What? I do everything for you. I take care of you. I love you. I comfort you, I listen to you. What, what, what is it? You don't satisfy me. I'm not satisfied. I can't believe you. We'll get help, move on from this like we did the last time. I see. 
It's a damn shame. Well, kid, it's not all that bad. Your story sounds like half the population of America. In other words, it sounds like it's anything worth killing yourself over. Don't do that. Do what? Minimize my problem. Like it's not important. It's nothing to get upset about. I have to be honest with you, kid. It doesn't sound like anything worth ending your life over. Yeah, that's what you think. Yeah, that's right. You haven't even heard the entire story. I don't have time for that now. I've gotta end this. No one respects me. No one. My colleagues, my wife, my students. No one respects me as a man. Stop being such a pansy. You have the power to change all of that. Oh, yeah? Oh, what do you know? You're just as fucked up as I am. I know that I don't put up with people disrespecting me. All you need is to have a little bit of courage, some confidence. Is it, is it really that easy? Sure is, you little girl. Hey, what's your problem? Oh, you're my problem. Here I am trying to escape, and instead, I gotta listen to a sob story coming from a pencil neck coward. I'll be the coward, while you be the pathetic junkie. Hey, don't you talk to me like that, you little punk. Hey, don't you put your hands on me like that oh, again. What? This little weasel starting to grow a set, huh? Give me a break. <laughs> Why couldn't you just let me go? I want to go anyway. No. No, I couldn't do that. Why not? I may be a coward. I'm no murderer. You should have skipped being a teacher and become a cage fighter, kid. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, you see that? You're a bleeding heart for about everything. I was bullying you. I was trying to hurt you emotionally, and I did. I didn't expect you to snap. Oh, why would you do that? Because it makes me feel better when other people feel bad. Because misery loves company. You get that, kid? Yeah, I guess so. It's not a good way to live, though. I understand that. That's why I'm here. No good to anybody. It's like the clap or something. You're not an STD. You're an asshole. Huge difference. It's not the first time I heard that. There's some good in you. I can tell. I thought you were a teacher, kid, not a priest. Just hear me out, okay? If you were all bad, you wouldn't be here. Stop talking in riddles, kid. You feel guilty. You have morals. STDs don't now Give have me a morals. break, kid, will you? I'm just fed up with life. I ruined mine. There's no fixing it. It could be fixed. Why can't people clean up after themselves? God damn slob. God damn it. We both came up here for the same damn reason. Instead, we're reminiscing about life like two old ladies. I know. Just hold on a uh, second. Oh, what? What? You got some other great revelation? Just say it. Look, before I came up here, I thought my son would be better off without me. I figured. 
If I was gone, he'd just model himself after someone else. You know, that's some great logic, kid. No wonder you're a teacher and not a rocket scientist. Anyway, I figured if I wanted my son to become a better man, then all I had to do was become a better person myself. It's wonderful. Congratulations. Now get the hell off my bridge so I can get back to business. No. No. Wait, you don't want to do this. Oh, give me a break. Why shouldn't I? Because you saved me. If you weren't here, I'd already be dead. I mean, even if your wife and your son's death were your fault, you could still help others. I'm no psychologist. I can't offer any help. But you already have. Like it or not, you just did some good. Maybe I did. You two better not be drinking up here. Where, where is he? He's gone. Who, who, who was he? Man, that saved my life. The new of me just sat and watched my feelings die. I won't let you fit me in a pack of lies. Like the face of a man before he's met the mass. Life flashed before my eyes and had me mesmerized. Yeah, shit had me mesmerized. Uh, shit had me mesmerized. Like the face of a man before he's met the mass. Life flashed before my eyes and had me mesmerized. Thoughts of becoming my own grim reaper. At times I felt weak and a lot of things I kept secret. Comfort was all I needed. Didn't think that you would need it. If it wasn't for my moms and death wouldn't have been cheated. Imagine not getting a chance to live a full life. Hung out of a window, stories high. And not old enough to realize the probability of it ending here. Found out some years later, man, y'all have no idea. The pain I felt clashing with my father's hatred elevated. Glad to say I finally forgave him for myself. Even though the tears were shedded like a snake skin. This hotel is mine, man, I put my days in. Amazing. Never thought that I'd be rapping like sex with a girl you just met. That shit just sort of happened. Uh, I put my feelings down soon enough, I adapted. You with me for this ride, just make sure that your belt is fastened.